you know it's Paris when you land here. Um, like it has its own distinct um, culture and character, uh, which I really love. And um, walking along the streets, like I said, it's just so refreshing to me. It's an inspiring city and it's, I guess one word to describe it would be like the culture um, because I feel like the culture is so here, so mm, rooted. So apparently uh, Paris is in this box. <laughs> um, this is uh, a CD of Havel's music. Uh, for me, uh, when I listen to French music, I always love listening to Havel and Debussy. Um, for me, I feel that Debussy deals more with natural light. Um, you can just literally just picture um, everything that's happening. And uh, whereas Ravel is more of a, um, I guess, a deeper color, I think he puts it brilliantly. He says that um, at first you, there's this mist and um, you're walking into, you're actually like flying into a ballroom and then all of a sudden the mist starts getting clearer and clearer and the clouds start to uh, come apart and then you really fall into this ballroom dancing and I feel like that's really true. Okay, so this is the Eiffel Tower um, on a keychain and I guess this is the symbol of Paris just like the Statue of Liberty is the symbol of America and New York City. I guess the greatest part of traveling as an artist, um, you get to experience so many different cultures and different cities and um, there's always so much, like the architecture is so different and I feel like music isn't just about practicing over and over again, it's also about experiencing life and experiencing different places, going to different places, um, tasting their foods, tasting their culture, and from there you get to really understand like different personalities and different characters. So this is a book of, uh, by Pierre Boulez. Um, and for me, he was, I mean, it's just so sad that he passed away, but he always like tried to try to refrain from the habitual of like the mannerisms that could occur when you play lots of concerts. But music is always different at every single time. And we have to, force ourselves to refresh the way we look at a piece every time we approach it. So, yeah. I feel like he really represented that and um, so I can try to preserve his memory and try to make music um, and try to um, strive for what Pierre Boulez always wanted. Well, this is a, what is it, a beret? <laughs> uh, so I guess, yeah, I, I mean, I, this is a French beret and um, I guess, I guess this is more like stereotypical how I thought of like French artists look like. Um, <laughs> like I think I've seen like Ravel wear this um, in photographs and um, yeah, it's, it's quite <laughs> funny. It's very crunchy <laughs> and um, it just melts in your mouth. So let's try it. Delicious. <laughs>